Greetings to you all, and welcome back to Let's Play Advanced Wars. It's time to take on Eagle. Once again, three missions. It's going to be my choice of character, I'm sure. And I think it's time for Sammy. First plot. Ahoy. Drake's a man with a theory. Eagle's convinced. I have no idea what his theory is or what he's talking about in the slightest. No, Andy. Calm yourself. You fill me with confidence, Max. I appreciate that. But it is Sammy's turn. You have the command. I mean, I have the command, but... Feel free to watch. Why is it always fog of war? Sammy's theme, though. Okay, I bob bobbed my head enough, I think. Let's crack on. You're such a harrier. Request denied. So what I'm seeing here is no bases. I'm seeing good terrain for infantry as well. All these mountains. This is a good example where the fog of war is a massive hindrance. I have no idea how far forward stationed Eagle is. Actually, no, I'm going to put you here on the mountain. I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I mentioned it again. Infantry on mountains in Fog of War get a vision boost. They can see further because they're up a mountain. I can work with that as an explanation. This is Eagle, so he's going to have an air force. My most valuable units are also my aircraft. So I need to protect them. And the best way I can protect them is just by making sure they are... ...covered by the missile. And the anti-air. Leave the decopter there for now. Alright, Eagle, what you got? Please send all of your aircraft forwards and leave the rest of your army behind. If you don't want to fight me, maybe stop blocking my path as I, ahem, pass through your country. From the rear. I'm trying to imagine this scenario in real life. How would, let's say, how would Spain take it if we just landed the British army on the shores of Spain? And when they said, what are you doing? We said, we're just on our way to France. We literally went past Blue Moon, went through Blue Moon and out the other side and went through two other countries in order to get to the backside of Blue Moon, which I assume is where we're going, because they're our opponents. I'm so lost in the story. I have no idea what we're doing. By the way, you're not going to see it here, because I used the fighter first. But the anti-air bomber battle is a real interesting one, because not so much for Sammy against Eagle. Oh. 
you blocked my fighter aircraft an aircraft that's so high up in the sky it literally can only be targeted by dedicated anti-air units with a small tank on the ground right okay so anyway when the commander's unit strengths are about equal so, so not here where I'm Sammy with average anti-air slightly less than average anti-air and Eagle has the best aircraft in the game but say if it was Andy versus Olaf and we've got an anti-air up against a bomber it's an interesting little dance because the anti-air can one-shot the bomber but the bomber can one-shot the anti-air and that I mean, it makes sense. The bomber drops a lot of bombs on the mechanised units. But at the same time, when you start out playing this game, it feels wrong. Because you think, I'm going to make the anti-air to counter the bomber, and then it kills you in one hit. So you do have to be aware of that. It's a sort of glass cannon matchup. It's all about positioning. And the bomber's typically more mobile. So in a 1v1 situation, the bomber will win, because it can move further. That being said, the bomber costs about nearly three times as much, so if you have two anti-airs against the bomber, you win. There's no way you're losing that fight. You just keep them together. I didn't think you could reach that far. Well, that sucks big mistake on my part. I got lazy. I didn't check how far the unit could move. It's a shame because I think the bomber's going to end up being very important in this mission. Well, it would have been very important in this mission. Sure. Behold, my infantry can move slightly further. Are you scared now? Also, this positioning is absolutely terrible on this missile. Eagle's fighters are so strong they can resist anti-air somewhat respectably. You'd usually expect about 80% damage from that interaction, but again, it's Eagle. I might offer up one of my units here. This tribute. Maybe this T-copter. Because I wanted to know what was in this forest. with one hit point isn't much of a threat, but I don't really want to get into a dogfight fighter v fighter up top either. The question is, what do I do with this? Let's actually check this time. Okay, the fighter can't reach me. Actually, it can. If the other fighter kills the T-copter. Oh, it's only got four hit points, it's fine.
If he spends his turn with this fight to shooting down my Battlecopter, I don't mind. The worst things can happen. Laugh at him, Sammy. Laugh at him. We gotta tip this man over the edge. Capturing property? What are you doing? Are you playing a serious game? I'm just out here for a friendly. Alright, bring it. Oh, bring it twice. I wasn't prepared for this. I am amazed that survived. I didn't predict that one. I feel like this is going very badly for us. Okay, there's two artillery in this sort of area. But don't go down there. Step one. You have a clear shot. Take it. Missiles are insanely good against aircraft. They're very, very expensive units, though. It's funny, because they're incredibly good at doing what they do. But they're so expensive and they literally can only fire against aircraft and only if the aircraft don't come within your dead zone. And aircraft are highly mobile. So often bombers and things can get inside the dead zone. So they end up being this unit that's incredibly good when they work and absolutely useless when they don't. But really expensive with it. So I tend to not build them very much because they feel a bit too risky for me. The chance of them just not achieving anything is too high. But when they work, boy howdy, do they work. Hello. Yeah, I feel the eagle is out of aircraft. I'm not hearing any aircraft. And there's an artillery. Here or here. Which means these two, these four units are not safe. That's fine, I can play this game. I see no reason to let his artillery get a shot off on my medium tank. I'm happy to fall back. That tile should be safe. That might not be safe, actually. There could be an artillery here. That was a mistake stepping forwards there. Okay, if I honestly believe there's no more aircraft, I should sacrifice the fighter for vision. Because it can't shoot ground. It's 
useless. Because there's no air left. That's an expensive sack, but... Not what I was hoping to see. I wanted to find the artillery. It's here or here. I'm going to gamble on the artillery not being in range of the medium tanks. It's probably the wrong play. It's an unnecessary risk. But if I don't do this, I'm just going to end up retreating forever. I'll offer up an APC. You know how much they love those. as we get in there. Anti-airs are never going to get a better target and shooting other anti-airs when there's no aircraft left. Honestly, I should sack you as well. Yeah, that's fine. That's inevitable. If you're not au fait with gaming terms, sack is sacrifice. I guess I shouldn't just assume everyone knows that. Artillery spotted. From a mile away. I like the fact that my mechs survey the scene before firing. Advance men. Very slowly. There's a real chance these infantry go for my HQ. I don't want to send the APC back because I'm going to need to keep rearming this rocket. Ha ha! How'd you like that? Blocked by a plane. I'm happy with my position. That medium tank's got to come up soon. There he is. They are making a break for my HQ. Sneaky chaps. Not sure why you think you can get away with this. Guess we'll have some words. You can't outflank Sammy with infantry over mountains. It's just not going to work. Aha! Mex can only move two tiles per turn, so this really slows him down. An incredibly large amount. It's so obnoxious. I love it. Curse your tyres. I think you have tyres. Instead of tracks, you really cannot progress through forests at any speed. Okay, he 
he can't see me. I'm in the forest, and there's nothing adjacent to me. That cannot fire on that. If it does, it's a cheat. It's beyond a cheat. It's bannable offence. How are you enjoying your little jaunt through the mountains? It's fun, isn't it? I do like how I've got a fighter aircraft spotting for me. Slowly does it, lads. I believe that rearming was just fuel. Why, hello there. It's possible this is all that he has, and the mission will just end once I kill this and that infantry. But knowing the way this game likes to do things, he probably has something on his HQ. They quite often leave a, a unit on the HQ itself to stop infantry captures out of nowhere. Not always. But it is a thing they sometimes do. See no reason to lose this vehicle. I'm gonna park it next to my APC. We'll get the refueling team up on the mountain, it's alright. Nearly got another CO power. Don't you feel special? Okay, last unit. No. Yes, you did have two of those, didn't you? Silly me, I nearly forgot. I'm just gonna wink at you, Eagle. This is what you get for trying to stop me from passing through your territory. You see the error in your ways now, Eagle. Rocket and missiles both have the same tyres. As in, they have tyres, not tracks. They're both horrendous. And moving through trees. Oh, come on, Eagle, why did you hold this thing back? I was going to say we can triangulate where that rocket is, but he just had an extra turn and may have moved it. But Rocket has a two-tile dead zone. He shot me from here, so he can't be here, 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 here. Which means it's either here, which it's not, because then it would have been shooting the infantry on the mountain. Which means it's here. But he might have moved it. I mean, it doesn't have to be in the trees, it could be here, I guess. But logically speaking, you'd put it in the trees, wouldn't you? Eagle's been brought to tears in his little portrait in the top right there. Sammy so just laughing her head off at him. Puzzle solved. Can't shoot that gun, you know you can't. And you can't shoot there, no you can't.
That's some impressive movement. I probably should check if there's anything in front of me. There's no guarantee this is the last unit either, I just sort of assumed it is. Hmm. That's actually a very effective block. Do it, guys. I believe in you. Not sure why I was just moving his rocket. Not sure Eagle's going to approve of this. Ah, oh, Sammy. You shouldn't be laughing when people die. They are humans at the end of the day. That are manning these vehicles. Well, although you want to be, haha, I'm beating you, Eagle, take that. People are dying. Bring your tank. What unit do you think I'm going to use to finish off that tank? That's right, anti-air. Disappointing. Get the rifles out, lads. Eagle, just give it up, man. What I should be doing here is I should capture some buildings and then I should just... Really? I should just wait to restore the HP of all of my units. How did you see that? It was in a tree. What? Why did you hold these back? And why do you so idiotically attack into my anti-air? I've got no idea what this guy's plan is. That little exchange might surprise you as well, seeing the bomber attack back, but at the end of the day it's a direct firing unit. It's the same classification as a tank, it just happens to fly, so it does get to fight back. Wait, you know what, you're not going anywhere. We've got the full surround on this plane. Three-dimensional flanking. The line's been broken, men. So we're aware of a missile. That is to say, a, an anti-air platoon of vehicles. What's the collective noun for vehicles? Fleet? Convoy. No point taking any risk. Let's wait for the rockets. If he has another medium tank and I charged head first into it, I will lose. If the rockets aren't there to back me up. I need the infantry to absorb the impact. So my guess would be that the missiles that hang back, hang back deliberately 
because the game doesn't want you T-coptering infantry straight into the HQ. And that way you can snipe the T-copter when it's over the mountains. That's my guess. Alright, no fear, we're in there. That's the last thing. At least there's nothing moving on the map. If that isn't the last thing, then there is something sat on the HQ. I'm sorry, what? Do you just have a plane somewhere? Yeah, fine. Fine, I'll capture. I don't mind. That's the lamest thing I've ever seen in my life, Eagle. realize I could just run away and let you fall out the sky when you run out of fuel. Oh, you pain. You absolute pain. So weaken it as much as I can so he can't disrupt my capture very much. I am Sammy, I have super boosted capture. He would have to drop me to three in order to stop me from capturing that. He's got two turns to do it. He will leave me on four. I can, f I can foresee it. I'm going to be on four. I hate you, Eagle. This is so annoying. If I capture it, it does three progress, and then he bombs me again, and it will kill me. Next turn. None of these units can shoot up except for this. This is not going to do enough damage. It's going to die in retaliation. Fine, if you want to drag the game out that badly. I am now hidden in a forest. As I said, Eagle cannot win this. He will run out of fuel. Everyone's in a forest except this guy. I guess he'll bomb the missiles next. But that will burn even more fuel travelling over there, because it's really far away. Just remember, Eagle, you did this. I just wanted to capture the game and get out. But you're the one that insisted on dying like this. For fuel. One fuel. Tell you what, I'm going to position myself one tile away. Actually, no, he'll, it consumes the three fuel to stay afloat at the start of the turn. He'll explode as soon as the turn starts. He won't get to move one tile and then explode. Damn, my sarcastic finish. Start the world's longest capture, just in case there's another plane. At long last, 
someone's going to explain what the hell is going on. Nice one, Andy. That's it, play dumb. He's got no proof. That is, that is spot on. I can't disagree with that. He's a commander in the army, may I remind you. Quiet, Andy. We're saving your backside here. Andy, shush! Let the grown-ups talk. Indeed. You see? You see what I'm saying? Why would you suspect him? He's not such a bad guy, but boy, did we kill a lot of people today because of him and his stubbornness. Ah, oh, well, needs must. That's a I was going to say a victory, but then I saw win in block gaps. That's a win. But, but what? But, uh, Eagle, I thought you were telling me everything, and yet you've told me nothing. You told me that Andy apparently attacked you. But didn't you tell me that ages ago? The first time you attacked Andy. Still, it doesn't add up. It's all very suspicious. And we still don't know what Drake has worked out, what his big plan is. Besides sending his own troops to die repeatedly against me. Maybe we'll find out in the next video. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.